I don't, I don't know how I'm going to carry this on with my life. Like, I've cried so much in this last past 72 hours. We are learning the identities of some of the teenagers involved in that crash earlier this week in Mount Hope. Three of the four boys were killed. Police say the driver refused to pull over for an officer who ran the plates of the car. ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo spoke with the parents of three of those teenagers who are still trying to understand what happened. Deshaun Hurd and Daniel Montaño are two of the three teenagers that died in this crash in Mount Hope Tuesday night. It's been a nightmare. Dwayne Hurd is Deshaun's father. His son was only 15 years old. He was a good kid. You know, he was real outgoing. He enjoyed being out with his friends. Daniel Montaño was only 17 years old. His brother Julian Montaño was also in the car that night, the only one that survived. I keep wanting to wake up and and like go back to sleep and wake up and, and for everything to be back to normal. Rose Montaño is the boy's mom. She says her son Julian, just 15, is in ICU. Doctors forced to amputate one of his legs, undergoing multiple surgeries. What I miss the most about Daniel is his loving heart, his positiveness, his enthusiasm. The crash happened around 11 Tuesday night. Police say an officer ran the car's plates and noticed it was reported stolen. The driver ran a red light, refusing to stop. Police say the officer lost sight of the car, but the helicopter followed. The driver lost control, hitting a tree and a light pole. None of the three boys were behind the wheel. Both parents say they still have many questions for police and wish their kids had stayed home that night. You know, not knowing or thinking about the consequences, I wish I would have been there to stop them. Choices they made, they had to, you know, they had to... They have to pay the consequences. Both families set up GoFundMe pages to help with the boys' funeral expenses. You can find that on our website, 10news.com. Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.